Have you ever heard that debt is bad? I mean, consumer debt, surely, that is horrible. But have you ever also heard that good debt is obviously good, and wealthy people use good debt to get even more wealthy and buy assets? Well, what if there was a way to use good debt to actually buy more Pulse X? or crypto, or Paul's chain, or Hex. I'm gonna run through an example of how I'm thinking about it, and I'm actually in the process of doing something like this. So, and I'm gonna start small, but we're gonna run through these numbers because they're fascinating. So, if this is your first time for you, well, what's good? Uh, my name is Sam, and for those of you who are returning, it is good to freaking see you. If you want to support the channel, you can check out some uh, links down below. If you want to say what's good on Twitter, there's also a link down below. So we have liquidity pools and we also have like single-sided stakes, right? So in a liquid, like, so let's understand like liquidity pool because that's what we'll just talk about in this example. We can do another video on, on a farm in, in a minute or something. Um, well, and then we're going to dive into the debt and how to use the debt in this example to actually have the asset pay off the debt so that you don't actually have to use your money to pay off the debt. In this example, so this is the Pulsed X test network or test net. And there's Uniswap, you can go to any one of these other exchanges or different protocols and they have similar things in there, right? For um, liquidity providing or um, for yield farming. And you get to see these here, 150% APR, 1200%, uh, right? Almost in 764. And this is for the pair of Pulse X to Pulse, uh, USDC to Pulse, PTR to Pulse, right? I want to put this into perspective, right? 1200%. If you put in a hundred grand at, in this pair, in about 15 days, you'd have a 50% return on your money. So if you put in a hundred grand in 15 days, you'd have $150,000. Well, you're like, well, I don't have $150,000. Well, what if you went out and you took out a loan? And I'm not advocating you do this. Like you have to know what you're doing and feel comfortable with this. And from, this is the like the payment. You're gonna have to be able to feel comfortable with if something happens or the you, there's a lot of impermanent loss, then you're gonna have to sit on this note and you're gonna have to pay this. So I'm not saying that you should do this. This is the strategy that I'm gonna implement something along these lines. So this is just a payment calculator. We've got 100 grand for 30 years, 5%, right? This is probably gonna be lower, but this is just to be conservative. Uh, th this type of thing could be done on a mortgage, right? So if somebody has a lot of equity in their house, if you were like, well, I don't have a house, well then just run these numbers at a smaller amount, like say $15,000, right? And the term they're gonna give you is probably like five years or maybe six years or something. And this interest rate might be, say 6%, right? So just run the numbers for that. And it's 300 bucks a month. So the numbers uh, that I'm looking more towards are something like a hundred grand. So let's go back towards this. So if I borrow a hundred thousand dollars in equity from real estate, they're gonna give me a 30 year term. So it's gonna be 30 years. I'm gonna pay it off over 360 payments roughly. And 5% interest, right? That I could probably get lower than 5% interest, but the payment I'll be making is about $540 a month. Now, what do a lot of people do in this circumstance? They'll take that $100,000 and they'll pay off debt and they'll go on vacation and, and they'll like update part of their house. And then all that money's gone, didn't provide them any value in terms of future, future value, um, like if income or financial, like financially speaking. I mean, you could say they upgraded their house, right? And like, yeah, maybe when they go to sell it, if they ever did sell it or they were to refinance again in five years or something, then yeah, but what about right fucking now? 
Well, what if you took that hundred thousand dollars and you put it into a liquidity pool or a yield farm and you're earning you know eleven hundred and fifty two percent annually what that means is in about 30 days just over 30 days you double your money so you go from a hundred grand to 200 grand in 30 days by putting in something like that and then you're like well what if what if uh, there's something negative happens and you have impermanent loss? We'll do we'll do a future video about impermanent loss, right? Definitely a possibility, especially when you're when you take something as volatile as pulse is gonna be and you pair it with USDC, right? Well, let's take another example. Let's let's take an example of something that is more reasonable and pull up uh, Uniswap, right? So I was playing around here last night. We get into their DAP. Let's go to their pool here. We're not going to connect a wallet. Um, let's see if they'll let us create a pool. So let's let's do this. Let's take something like USDC and USDT. Wow, that's ninety four percent, right? Ninety four percent. That's the, from my understanding, that's the uh, return on this. This is two stable coins. So the risk of impermanent loss is substantially lower. This is what like hedge fund guys will do. They'll just take the arb between arbitrage between two different interest rates. So let's run the numbers on that. So because there's going to be something like this here, I just haven't pulled it up or added it to the wallet or played around with Pulse Jack. So that's why we're using uh, Uniswap because they already have it in here. So hundred thousand dollars, right? And we're going to earn 94%. So 94%, let's divide that by 12. So that's 7.83% per month. Right? So $100,000 times 0.0783%. That's eight grand a month. 7,800 bucks a month. Right? And we have two stable coins. So we can reduce the risk of impermanent loss drastically. And we're earning eight grand a month. So what do you do? Well, remember, we have a payment we need to make, 536 bucks. And this payment isn't variable. So if you get a, if you get something like liquid loans or a different debt protocol, um, there's a, that loan can be called against you. What that means is you, if there's a giant swing in the prices of the collateral, then that you could lose your collateral. So say for liquid loans, you have like pulse, right? And you're gonna put that into the smart contract. You're gonna take USDL out. Now, if you have say a hundred grand of USDL in there, um, or you pull out, you have a hundred thousand dollars of pulse, put that in there, pull out $50,000 of USDL, and you can take that and invest it or, or sell it or, or whatever you decide to do with it. Well, what if, um, Pulse drops by 50%, right? Because that's what a lot of cryptos do. They just have these giant swings. Well, that means you lose your pulse because you got all your money out. You already took 50 grand out. So if the price comes down to like $55,000 a pulse instead of $100,000 a pulse, which is very, very, very likely to do, then you don't have your pulse position anymore. It is sold. And all you have is your USDL. Well, with this for a mortgage, that's not going to happen, right? That's not going to happen. As long as you're making your payments, that's pretty much all the bank gives you shit about. So 540 bucks a month, you can go in there, create a stable coin pair for liquidity over here, and you earn that fee. And I don't know about Uniswap, but on PulseX, if you provide liquidity, you can also get a to uh, uh, incentive token. So this, there's going to be a return on top of this because the incentive token is also going to be some type of reward, right? So somebody even even going through and using Uniswap, even if this is even if this was substantially less, right? Say let's just say forty percent, right? Let's just say forty percent. If somebody uh, tangent from from uh, out in Australia was talking to me about 
earning 40%, but you were like, yeah, but 40% in crypto, if you have to wait a whole year to get 40%, like people will laugh at you, kind of thing. That's how I came across there. But even at 40%, right? So you to pick the most conservative liquidity pair you could possibly pick and, and, and open these margins up substantially, right? Or, or close them down or whatever it is that reduces risk, right? Because I don't fully understand how, them, how they're actually working yet. And you're only earning 40% instead of 94%. Right. Let's divide that by 12. You're earning 3% per month, right? 0.003% per month times 100 grand, because that's what you can put in there. You're earning 3,330 bucks a month. Your payment is this. You can pay me, excuse me, you can make your payment six times and pay that loan off very, very quickly. So that you just get your hundred thousand dollars, and then you can go through and do it again, right? So you can use your the debt, good debt, to pay off, pay that, buy assets, right? So you can go through that that hundred thousand dollars. You're going to acquire, say, whatever that pair might be, and and then there's other things that we don't need to even get into in this video, unless you're curious. Uh, we can do a future video. Yeah, that you could take a strategy where you take something like uh, USDT and USDC and you provide liquidity on that, but maybe you provide 70% of your $100,000, so 70K to that pair. And, and say we, we set the parameter so that we uh, are very, very conservative and only earn 40%, right? So now we're gonna have 70K times 0.033, right? Because that's how much we earn per month. So we would earn, uh, $2,000 per month, or we could even do it more conservatively. Let's see, what is $10,000 times 0 .0, uh, 0.0333? Okay, so you probably need about 20 grand to do this. So 20, 000, you put in 20,000 of that money, and that'll be paying your bills every month. Now, what do you do with the other $80,000? And I'm not saying you should do any of these things I'm talking about, but the other $80,000, you could spread out and eight different projects, right? Put $10,000 into eight different projects, right? Something, this this one right here, they're like, the, I'm gonna put the most conservative amount, enough in there to pay my $500 bill every single month, right? Because now you're getting 600 bucks from that if it was 40%. And there's tons of these things out there, right? Or you can even set it up and use uh, hacks, right? You can set it up as hacks um, and just so set up a reserve, so set up a reserve for 12 months of hacks, set a one-year stake in the hacks so that it hacks comes due in 12 months, assuming that there's no price appreciation. If there is price appreciation, then it's gonna be even better. But in one year, you've got that first one coming due and it's all paid for by your crypto, right? Then you can take your crypto out and pay your loan off. Uh, you make your loan payments and you have it set up so it's a, a staggered thing. You can probably even do it um, one month out, two months out, and etc. And have enough to take care of. Actually, that would be an interesting video. Maybe I'll do that for tomorrow to show you guys the numbers in a spreadsheet. Anyways, you can take the other eighty thousand dollars, put ten thousand dollars into something like this, right? Where you're earning eleven hundred percent, and then that way, th th this is just extra above and beyond on top of that. So you have a bunch of different things all working together. Some of them say this would be higher risk. Here, because you have a stable paired with something like Pulse, which is, is going to be extremely volatile, right? But then you could have everything in between too, something between like 40% and 1200% and put the eight other projects in there. And all of that, you could pull some of that profit off every single month to pay this. So if you found this video interesting, take a second share with somebody else who's in crypto. We're just getting started. Remember, we're already on the fringe and the rest of the world is going to be following us in the future. So if you found it helpful and you know somebody else who's on the edge of crypto and wants to get more involved, share this video with them. Or hit me up on Twitter if you have any questions. Appreciate you. If you know, also, if you want to support, check out the links down below. Appreciate you. Talk to you soon.